Hi guys, welcome back. Um, we're going to be doing a nice little restorative class for you guys today. It's not going to be quite a yin class just because I want to keep this nice and short for you guys at home. But if you want to do this slower, you can always hold any of the poses that we're doing. Just using a timer on your phone for up to five minutes. If you want to take it a little bit more yin style. But if you have got one at home, just grab a pillow. If you've got a bolster, that's great. If not, just a regular pillow will do. Just have that nearby. And we're going to start together today just working into the hips a little bit. We're going to work into our butterfly pose. So just coming into your comfortable seats, all of the feet together, knees drop out wide. Just keep the legs relatively soft here. Just release the neck, release the shoulders. Just take a breath in together. And as you exhale, just slowly start to soften the crown of the head forwards. Just come into our folded butterfly. As always, as you come in, check how this pose feels in your body today. If this doesn't feel good to be folded, feel free to stay upright. Wherever you are, just start to soften the eyes closed. Just take the breath nice and long and soft. Just using your awareness of breath, of sensation here to allow the body to soften. Take a couple more breaths in this shape together. One more nice long inhale. Exhale to slowly release back up to center. Just gently draw the knees in towards each other. We're going to come all the way up onto all fours, just bringing the hands roughly under your shoulders knees roughly underneath your hips. We're going to set up for our half pigeon variation, our half pigeon pose. We're going to start with this right leg, so just sliding the right knee out to the outside of your right baby finger. Make sure it's nice and white. And just keep the foot on the inside of the leg here of the thigh. Slide the left leg back in space. Take a moment to pause, check in with this front knee as you arrive. If there's any pain or discomfort, just easing yourself out and I'll give you a second variation. Everything's feeling good here. We're going to start to fold the heart forwards, coming into our half pigeon pose. And this is where that pillow can come in handy. So pillow under the heart can be a great little support here. If you have got any discomfort in the knee, you're coming with me. So we're going to come into a slightly different variation. Seated, and we're going to cross this right ankle across, flex the foot, and come into our seated pigeon. With the seated pigeon, the closer your hip is to that front heel, the stronger this pose is going to be, the further away, the softer. So that's how you can adjust this one. Wherever you are, we've got a couple more breaths on this first side. Gently release, and we're going to meet on our bottom. So if you're seated, just taking that right foot down. If you're in your half pigeon, just dropping onto that right hip. We're going to bring both legs out straight in front of you. We're going to set up for our Janu Shastasana. So we're going to keep with this right side to start with. So the left leg is going to stay out straight. We're just going to take it slightly off to the side as we draw the right knee in. So of the foot finds the inner seam of your thigh here. Take a moment to settle the seat bones, and if you feel like you're rolling in the lower back, sit yourself up onto that cushion once again. And we're going to turn the body to face the straight leg. Take a breath in, and find your forward fold over the left side here. Releasing the neck, shoulders. Allow the body to again really feel any tension, any resistance. Take two more nice long breaths on this side. Gently coming up to centre. We're going to set up for that second side. So hands coming under the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. So we start to set up for our second half pigeon pose. So again, from here, we're going to start to slide that left knee to the outside of your left baby finger and the right leg stretches back in space behind you. Take a check in with this front knee, make sure nothing's feeling painful or weird. 
everything's good. We're sinking the heart forwards into our second side. Again, I'll give you that other option if you need it on this side, otherwise you're holding here. If you have got anything happening with the knee, you're going to come back to your bottom. Left leg this time is going to flex and cross over that right knee as we find this shape together. Two more nice long breaths on this side. Gently releasing wherever you are, and we're going to set up for that Janusha's Asana. So this time, the left knee stays bent, the right leg comes out in front of you, slightly off towards that right side. Again, sitting yourselves up a little bit higher if that's what you need in your body, but we're going to spin to face this front straight leg, take a breath in, and then start to fold forwards over that right thigh to release. And then relaxing into whatever resistance you can feel in your body on this side. Let's take two more nice big breaths. Gently Healing yourself up to center. This time we're going to draw both legs in and we're going to cross this right knee in front of the left as we set up for our box pose. This one's a little bit tricky to get in, so with crossing the legs, we start with the right shin in front of the left. We're going to slide the shins a little bit further in front of you, so this nice straight line in front of us. We're going to wiggle the right foot to the left and the left foot to the right, so this nice tight cross of the legs in front of you. Flex the feet, and for most of us, this is going to feel strong enough, so we're going to start to get this little release in the back of the hips as we breathe in, lengthen, and then start to fold the chest forwards over the thighs. So most of us, especially if you've got any knee issues, this is going to be strong enough. If you're not feeling anything here, there is the option to deepen into our half lotus pose. If that's you, this one doesn't work for me, so excuse how this one looks for me. But you're going to lift your right foot up onto the knee, and we're starting to stack here. But if when you do this, you're like me, and this knee is really nice and high, just stick with that cross-legged variation. It's going to be a lot better for your knees and your hips here. We've got two more breaths on this side. Gently releasing back up to center. We're going to take it straight to that second side. So left shin in front of your right. Take a little wiggle to get those legs in this parallel line in front of you once again. And then we're wiggling feet away from each other to create this nice little box with the legs in front of us. You might need a slightly different option on this side. So again, check in. Notice if you're feeling a stretch. Keep the weight back in the hips as we start to fold forwards over the thighs to release. Again, if you do want that more challenging, deeper variation on this side, that left foot is going to lift up on top of that right knee to find your half locus pose. And we're we'll working the hips, make sure you're feeling it in the hips, not the knees. It's always a good way to notice your depth. Let's take one more breath. Exhale to release back up to center. Releasing the legs, we're going to stretch them straight out in front of us. Take a wiggle to connect your seat bones to the earth. Stretch the arms up to the sky, breath in. We're folding forwards over the thighs for our forward fold, Pashimottanasana. Again, try to get the legs roughly straight. If you are feeling a lot in the lower back, you can try sitting your hips up a little bit higher onto that cushion or taking the feet a little bit wider to hip width apart should give you a nice little bit of relief through the lower back. Let's take one more nice big breath. Exhale to release all the way back up to center. We're going to come all the way down towards the earth as we set up for our supine twist. So keep the left leg in towards the chest. And this right knee, sorry, left leg out in front of you, right knee in towards the chest. Give it a little squeeze, a little hug. And we're gonna take it across the body as we open the arms out wide to the sides. Come in 
into our supine twist. Notice if as you come in, you start to hold the breath or stop breathing. Try to keep the breath flowing through the body here. One more breath on this side. Exhale to release it back towards centre. And we're going to come into that second side. Right leg stretches forwards, left knee comes in, give it a little hug, a squeeze. We're going to take it across the body, coming into our nice supine twist here, arms opening out towards the sides. Again, try to keep the breath flowing through any resistance. One last inhale. Exhale to release it back to centre. A moment to hug both knees in and we're going to balance the spine with a nice happy baby soles of the feet to the sky holding either the backs of the knees or the feet to so take the knees wide start to close down the eyes and let's take a nice big sigh here together breath in open the mouth and let it go while you're here if there's any last poses your body needs the time to kind of move, start to explore this time on your mat with yourself. You are feeling balanced and ready to start to slide those legs out in front of you, hands alongside the body. Take one last big sigh in here together. Open the mouth and let it go. And spend at least a couple of minutes here in your rest, your shavasana. I'm going to leave you guys here to rest for as much time as you have. Any questions, let me know and I will see you next time. Thank you guys. Namaste.